Hey folks, it's Gary from Nova Scotia Ag Fisher Outdoors. Today I'm taking a little drive, oh, probably about a half hour from home. Uh, I'm going to take the fly rods and uh, well, I hope to catch some multiple species. Uh, the goal today is to catch a few small pickerel uh, and then uh, bring them back home and then uh, do up a, a meal of pickerel burgers. Uh, so uh, if that interests you, stay tuned. Uh, shouldn't have any problem catching a few pickerel, I wouldn't think. And uh, enjoying a delicious meal at the end. So, anyway, we'll be coming right at you. Hopefully, the flies are freaking not too bad today. Jeez. I've already swallowed a mosquito and I haven't even been fishing. So I just got here, I don't know if you if I already had the footage, but had a couple of nice fish hit just at the beginning of this pool. But uh, I just grabbed the camera because uh, the sucker run is going around here. I just had a school of suckers come right up through the shallows here. Uh, the, didn't get the camera in time, unfortunately, but uh, maybe if another school comes, we'll catch them. Well, I uh, lost two nice fish there. Uh, I did get a piece of each of them. And, uh, and then I had one small pickerel. to see a little pickerel move there. Uh, so definitely fish in there. And then the suckers came up through and uh, I tried to, I have a tandem fly. That's what I got the hit on, my big tandem fly. Uh, I went back with the little uh, uh, muddler or rabbit strip muddler and uh, didn't get any fish, but uh, I did have the one small pickerel hit that. Uh, but I'm going to head downstream a little bit and probably come back to this spot because I suspect those were probably a couple good smallmouth that were laying in wait just off the current there and I just happened to, to miss my chances. So we'll go down a little bit further. Got another couple holes. I just want to fish a couple holes here. Uh, I'm sort of running and gunning with the fly rod today. I see another pickerel move so I might take some casts at the end of this thing or I'll just go down to the next hole. But Anyway, I'm going to continue on down and see what I can find. Another small pickerel over there. Hmm. Okay. Get the stream ahead. I'm going to go for a little walk. Just 
a little small one for this moment. Oh. Species number one of the afternoon. There you go, fella. I believe those fish surfacing are suckers. I'm not liable to get one of them on the fly rod, but I guess you never know. Had somebody hit there? Ah, a little bass. All right. And a little bit. Oh, no, a little chain pickerel. Just a little fella. Wife wants a little feed. I think we'll keep the little said chain pickerel. gonna try this little spot before I head back I've started scaring a few small pickerel uh, while I was walking the shoreline so thought I might be able to tempt something here maybe not There we go. What do we got? Pickle? Yeah. Come on in. Another big one. That's a, it is true that pickle are easy, the big ones are easier to clean. But once you get used to it, the small ones are fine too. So I thought I'd try to keep a couple pickle for a fish fry with the missus. Oh, I've got two, just two small ones, but uh, I wouldn't mind picking up another one or two before heading to some uh, speckled throat water. Or 
one good size one. There's also white perch here, but they're probably in another area of the system. Getting ready to spawn about now, I think. Oh, there's another one. Might hang around here and try to get a little feed before I head to some trout water. Someone left a broken chair here, which is always nice. Ouch. Hmm, I heard a fish jump. Hmm. Oh. Oh, looks like an injured pickerel. Or an injured Gaspero? There's no way Gaspero got up here. Huh. Went back down, but it wasn't doing too good. It looked like a Gaspero. Interesting. Never seen them here. That must have been what, uh, oh, there's fish right there. Okay. Well, I might have the wrong fly on. The big one, if there happens to be Gaspero here, they got up this far. I do have an idea what they have to go through in order to get here. That would be an interesting trick. Makes me want to take another trip to another spot that I know of. Somebody else slapped at it. And I have a meal of tiny pickerel. Now Get my way back across. Okay, I got my first little pickerel here. And when they're quite small, it's really hard to get any amount of meat from the rib cage. So what I do is I just take a slice off the back, I'm gonna down to the backbone, and then I come up. There's one piece. off the tail I'm going to get small pieces here that's okay. Ooh. 
see there is a line of Y bones right here small ones I'm just gonna cut above the I'll just fill it out Now for the piece to take off the back, you just there's a line of gristle right there. Peel that out. Again, you look for the Y bones, you should be able to see them or feel them. I can feel them right there. So I want to stay above them. And sometimes you'll just mess up the sides and uh, especially on these small ones. And that's okay. Now, no sense wasting that. Put that in the uh, blender. A little bit of water. And I'll blend those up when I'm done. And uh, that can go into the garden as good fertilizer. That's a very thin piece of wheat. So, even though it's just a tiny pickerel. I still got a fairly good uh, little uh, bit of meat off of it, boneless, that I'll be frying up. So I'm going to continue with the other ones, and uh, then we'll bring you back when uh, it comes time to start uh, doing uh, up my stuff for the burgers. So I've had it 
I've already did one batch and took out to the to the garden, but this is the uh, last two. I'm just gonna, I put a bunch of water in there. I suppose I should plug it in. Uh, I won't be able to do this much longer because uh, the garden's pretty well all planted, but. There's my pickerel garden cocktail with some water in it. Take that out to the garden. Here in a sec. Those are my uh, little bit of pickerel fillets. I have to wash them off uh, from my uh, tiny pickerel the cop today. But uh, we'll take them out, and uh, I'll take my garden cocktail out, add it to the garden, and I'll get at uh, starting to get ready for my burgers. Okay, so here this the next step. I'm just gonna it's just for the two of us, so just a little bit of cabbage, some nice crunch. I'll put that in one of these bowls. Add a little bit of olive oil. Squeeze the lemon juice. It's most of garlic and peppers in there today. All right, there's my one of my toppings. Next thing I want is a couple pieces of tomatoes. Put the bottom off, and I'm gonna give that to my chickens, and then I'm gonna cut. Some thinly sliced tomato. Oh, I have that should be good. Next, I make a little tartar sauce topping. Use some real mayo. Some sweet green relish. And some more lemon. There, yeah, that should be good. Mix that all around. Okay, I'm gonna leave that, put that back in the fridge, and uh, let that stay chilled while I. Get everything else done. Okay, I got a little butter. I just put it in the microwave for a few seconds. I'm going to use this for the bun. A little garlic in there. Lovely. Cheating with the just 
the cheap no-name crushed garlic. Oil is sizzling going on over there. It sounds like it's about ready. Just finish up these buns. Get that fish going. Those look good. Alright, I got my first burger there. I'm going to put a generous amount of fish on there as much as I can get on. That doesn't look too bad. I'll go with my tartar sauce. Cabbage on top, a couple of tomatoes, a little Montreal steak on that. One burger is done. Okay, I like a little bit more of the tartar sauce. I don't know what Tasha does. Well, there be two fish burgers here.
Those are two good looking fish burgers if you ask me. Awesome. Well, this should be an ending to a pretty good day. I got out, got a couple fish, came home, made a nice meal. Nothing better than that. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, like, comment, subscribe. Let me so know some of your favorite ways of enjoying uh, the fish that you catch out in the wild. And we'll see you next time on Nova Scotia Yak Fisher Outdoors. Bye-bye, Al. Let's try this burger. Nothing wrong with that.